This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hi friends! Today we're going to look at a few signs that will help you distinguish real experts from scammers in the world of information business. Let's figure out together how not to fall for tricks and make the right choice. When they told tales of success, I kept silent because I don't believe in fairy tales. When they pinged me with ads, I kept silent because I have banner blindness. When they sent me a free checklist, I stayed silent because I didn't ask them for it. And even when they offered to take credit for their course, I stayed silent because I don't take credit. But when they sold their course to my grandmother, I realized that sooner or later, they were going to come after all of us. So I decided to deal with them myself once and for all. Back in ancient times, when our ancestors had just learned to make articulate sounds and primitive man picked up a digging stick, the trade in information began. Info business has always existed, although it was called differently. But now is the age of the internet and bloggers. It has found a new life. It is often cool and useful. You can learn something new and make your life better and more interesting. But sometimes people teach things they don't quite know how to do themselves and even give harmful advice. Make yourself comfortable. Now we will tell you how to distinguish a real expert from a soulless divorcee. I hate this city soaked in fear and hatred. We're only educational courses and motivators. This was not my first case. Another victim of all these pseudo experts from the internet. Ugh, I'm so sick of this trash. Gary is creative, or rather he's an artist. Since childhood, he heard the phrase that an artist should always be hungry. And so it turned out, orders are piling up. Everyone he knows has already been portrayed. Gary already wanted to go to work at the factory on the precepts of his father. But suddenly he came across a story from a successful lady. Here she is so beautiful in an expensive car on the Côte d'Azur, drinking sangria and says how she started from scratch and earned all her millions by herself. And now she is ready to teach everyone how to do the same. All you have to do is buy the course. But can such honest eyes lie? Listen to all the courses went to webinars, energized, made a map of desires, and woke up in a trashed apartment without the last money. Yes, to get to such a scammer can everyone. Here are the tricks that use Infobortsy. First trick, they play on pain. Such people hit the most painful thing, say that they know how to get out of the pit, solve health problems, get rid of failures in their personal life forever, and offer to buy a magic pill. Just imagine just a few steps and your problem will be solved once and for all. But these guys are primarily focused on their success, not yours, and driven by their unwillingness to help and the thirst for profit. The second trick, promises. You will be promised, even guaranteed a quick and 100% result. Quickly earn a lot of money. Quickly lose weight. Quickly find the love of your life. The truth is, it doesn't work that way. The third trick, lost profits. They always have everything strictly limited. The time of the action ends, the number of seats melts like snow in April. And at exactly midnight, sales will close. Don't miss the chance to get lucky. And if you don't have the money now, it's okay. We'll give you an installment plan. Remember, it's all artificial scarcity and manipulation. Fourth trick, money for show. In their feeds, Everything is always successful. Cars, cars, vacations where it's warm, cars again, brands, hotels, brands, hotels. But they're sure to let you know that it wasn't always like that. And in general, they grew up in a communal apartment next to a market where they sold stolen apples. But suddenly they had a divine insight that changed everything. And now they're bringing that insight to the world. Don't fall for it. And yes, there may be a Cinderella story, but it's all very individual. And it is also likely that next to such a Cinderella will find a prince, which is not from the neighboring communal room crawled out. The fifth trick, everything is based on successful cases. Infobores likes to cite as an example, those who have taken their course and started earning a million a day. 
It is not always a deception, but there are nuances. Perhaps they didn't come to this course from scratch, but studied a lot before or something else worked. Or maybe it's a classic survivor stop mistake. But if it's so bad, why is info business alive and well? And already almost every backyard dog has his own course or marathon. Because info business is not always a scam. There are institutes, tutors, online schools. At the end of the day, they all sell information that you can often get from free sources. But before you find something good, you'll have to dig through it. It's structuring for something like that is very time consuming. And here they've already done it all for you. You just have to do what they say and maybe you'll get somewhere. This is not a muddy info business, but self-made learning cool. But first you need to understand what you actually need this learning for. It can be just a hobby, for example. You always wanted to play the guitar and mom gave to molding clay. Or maybe she gave you a refresher course. But if all this is so bad, why info business lives and thrives? Because first of all, a normal clear course will not promise you exorbitant results. A position of a senior in two months and a salary of over a dozen in six months. They will explain you the basics and then work hard, work hard. Gary decided he'd had enough of this esotericism. Say go right dreaming in the right direction, believing in success. Ugh, time to set specific goals and get specific skills in sales. But how do you find a diamond in a pile of shit? Well, you get the picture. I mean, how do you recognize an expert among info box signs? First of all, experts don't promise the impossible. They impart knowledge, teach certain skills, but it doesn't mean that you will immediately become a sought after expert. And they certainly won't tell you about the success you will have tomorrow. Second, experts don't advertise aggressively. Info bargos love a lot, a lot of aggressive advertising. It builds up a whole history of warming up to the sale, it can last for weeks, but the expert does not need it, no more likely to come. Why with intrusive advertising? Third, the content at Infor. All content is geared towards selling. They won't give you any useful information in their posts. All their content is aimed at evoking emotions in you. Fight, hang in there. I could do it and you can do it. Dream. Oh yeah, but experts are often only too happy to share their social media life hacks and actively answer subscribers' questions. Understand on your own, info business is bad. Just all sorts of scammers compromise the teacher. If you don't succeed at something, you share the responsibility in half. Maybe you should try harder. Gary tried harder. He found great teachers, realized his mistakes, and started doing things right. He got so awesome that he got invited to a cool business conference. And that's where Gary met her. The same bitch who had ripped him a new one. He wanted revenge so badly, but when he looked into her eyes, he remembered her charms. Gary decided he'd had enough of this esotericism. Say go right dreaming in the right direction, believing in success. Ugh, time to set specific goals and get specific skills in sales. But how do you find a diamond in a pile of shit? Well, you get the picture. I mean, how do you recognize an expert among info box signs? First of all, experts don't promise the impossible. They impart knowledge, teach certain skills, but it doesn't mean that you will immediately become a sought after expert. And they certainly won't tell you about the success you will have tomorrow. Second, experts don't advertise aggressively. Info bargos love a lot, a lot of aggressive advertising. It builds up a whole history of warming up to the sale, it can last for weeks, but the expert does not need it, no more likely to come. Why with intrusive advertising? Third, the content at Infor. All content is geared towards selling. They won't give you any useful information in their posts. All their content is aimed at evoking emotions in you. Fight, hang in there. I could do it and you can do it. Dream. Oh yeah, but experts are often only too happy to share their social media life hacks and actively answer subscribers' questions. Understand on your own, info business is bad. Just all sorts of scammers compromise the teacher. If you don't succeed at something, you share the responsibility in half. Maybe you should try harder. Gary tried harder. He found great teachers, realized his mistakes, 
and started doing things right. He got so awesome that he got invited to a cool business conference. And that's where Gary met her. The same bitch who had ripped him a new one. He wanted revenge so badly, but when he looked into her eyes, he remembered her charms. Thanks for watching. We hope you find our tips useful. Remember, choosing the right training course or mentor can make a big difference in your success. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos and share your thoughts in the comments. Good luck and don't fall for scams. See you soon.